Is Flux going to 10X? Is now a good time to buy? What's going on with the Flux ecosystem? These are the things I'm going to cover in this video. We're gonna go over some charts, gonna go over some analytics. So I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is for educational entertainment purposes only. Do your own research when investing in cryptocurrencies. So Flux is a scalable new generation of cloud infrastructure. Uh, it does a lot of different things. It's a large ecosystem. You can build apps on it. It can uh, store data. Other crypto chains can operate nodes on, or can operate their nodes on the Flux network. It's a very ambitious project, but I believe the sky is the limit with this because one of Flux's main targets is the data storage business and data storage is absolutely massive. Amazon Web Services is the largest data storage uh, one of the largest data storage companies in the world. This chart is showing you the growth of Amazon Web Services by quarter. And it states here in the fourth quarter of 2021, the cloud computing hosting revenues did $18 billion in one quarter. So this is the market that they're competing in, in a decentralized Web3 platform. To me, whichever cryptocurrency or blockchain dominates the data storage and web hosting and cloud storage um, market is going, could be absolutely massive, 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 massive. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I am going to be giving five Solano away when I hit a thousand subscribers to one of my subscribers. So hit subscribe, hit like, help the channel, help the video, help the YouTube algorithm. I really appreciate it. Okay, so I wanna go over with you guys whether it's a good time to get into Flux right now and how I'm analyzing this chart. So I like to look for points of support. And how I like to do this is you go to before and after these bull runs here, and we're gonna look at where these little points of support. Uh, so we hit this point of support here uh, at about 136, and you can see here, if we continue this line, we continue to kind of hit this number in here, the one low 140s. I mean, if we were, uh, if you're lucky to get in the 120s down here, it hit 120, low 120s again. So there is a support there, but in this range, in between the 120, 130, uh, from like a long-term perspective entry point, we're not FOMOing in at this point. Um, we're, we've kind of just leveled off here. Our next point of support, if we were to drop to the next level of support, would be probably down here in the 36 cent range. So. I would say that's pretty unlikely. You never know. We never know what could happen. But I would say compared to buying up, uh, you know, here at a dollar ninety, um, or you're buying here, FOMOing in, or buying here at this little false dip here at two thirty six. Um, right now, I think we're looking at a pretty. We've we've gone on a little. We're on a little uh, green territory right now. Um, but yeah, in between this uh, 130, 145 range, I think in the current climate with uh, all the news, it's very possible we'd come down a couple cents, maybe back into the 140 range, 130 range, but uh, we're not a great time to buy. We're not at a bad time to buy at all. Uh, this is not a FOMO scenario. This isn't a buying at the peak. We're not buying at all time highs. Uh, which is not where I like to buy cryptocurrencies. And if you've had any experience in cryptocurrency, you uh, know why buying at all-time highs can be extremely risky. Okay, so here on the Flux dashboard overview, it shows us the total number of nodes. These node history here, we're currently just below 6,000 nodes. And it shows here, this is a short, um, this is only two months here. This shows this graph, uh, node history. But what's interesting is if you go to the white paper, here it states at the time of writing this, in April of 2021, they only had 1,100 nodes operating. So from April 2021, within a year, they've basically almost 6x the number of node operators up to 6,000. So that's growth that I like to see. And I'm just looking for long-term growth, long-term trends of growth. You can look here on the explore the number of transactions. Uh, number of daily transactions. We're at a dip. We're we're at a little dip here, but this this is the two year graph. I like to zoom out. I don't like to look at much over short terms because I'm a long term investor and I'm thinking about flux in three years, five years, where it's going to be. And uh, short term, I'm bullish. 
long term I'm bullish short term uh, in the next bull run can we get back up to all time highs of uh, what was our all time high here all time high was 333 so we're looking at over 100% return to get back to all time highs and I think we'll hit that and during probably the next bull run at some point and then long long term sky's kind of the limit so here's the block reward distribution and it shows you that 50% goes to the proof of work and 50% goes to the node operators so people all over the world right now can by purchasing flux and using uh, their hardware they can set up nodes and validate transactions on the blockchain and help operate and they are paid with rewards so there's different way to earn rewards in flux and this node system makes the flux network extremely scalable so the nodes the number of nodes is essentially infinite and it can just continue and then that computing power is spread out in truly decentralized way and it will just it can just continue to grow so this is actually a really cool new update and I had an issue originally, not a huge issue, but I didn't like that with the flux node structure, you had to have a minimum of a thousand flux to start. And what's cool is that this is new they're doing. They're starting a new tier for uh, five flux is the minimum to operate a node and 250 flux. So this lowers the barrier to entry immensely and can increase the number of node operators by an insane amount and can also and will also increase the amount of decentralization so i love to see this this i to me this is very bullish um, i really like this okay so here we have some of the different um, apps that have been built on flux and Kadena operates their nodes on the Flux ecosystem. So if you're bullish on Kadena, uh, that's kind of what brought me over to Flux. I think a lot of the Kadena uh, enthusiasts are also bullish on Flux. Polkadot runs nodes on the Flux ecosystem. So different blockchains can run their nodes on Flux and also developers and apps can also build on Flux and you can also store your data on flux. Uh, I like seeing this one a Minecraft server and this is a test it says for gaming on flux and gaming is going to be massive and gaming is massive in the crypto space. Having gaming utility is uh, bullish for me. So yeah, so not a massive massive ecosystem at this point, but we have bullish growth. Uh, so here what's interesting is it shows you on the dashboard that there's a total supply of 440 million flux. Uh, there is a circulating supply of 229 million flux. So this is how many are in circulation right now. So there will be inflation over time. Uh, and then there's this lock supply. So this is one thing about flux that is confusing me and I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. You can take what you want from this, but I'm just gonna be sharing it with you. Um, so here it's showing that the current supply of flux on the network is 373 million. This is on the flux uh, explorer. If we go to the flux dashboard, it's telling me there's 229 million circulating supply and a total supply of 440 million. But now if we come over to Live Coin Watch, the max supply is 4.8 billion. Um, circulating supply is 229 million. So I believe the circulating supply is 229 million. But I went into the white paper and I saw that this max supply of 4.8 billion is, there's a bunch of locked um, flux. Okay, so this is the tokenomics of flux right now. And if we look down here, there is maximum circulating supply is 441 million and total supply is 4.8 billion. Um, estimated locked is 91%. So, you know, to be totally honest, I don't know exactly what this means. If any of you guys know what this means, please feel free to share it in the comments. Let me know. It seems like the maximum circulating supply for people trading and investing is 440 million. So for purposes of investing, that seems like the most important number. Can these be unlocked? I don't know. Um, but anyways, just sharing this information with you guys. So one other thing with Flux that is a small concern to me is that it is proof of work. So that means there is mining, which means that it is worse for the environment, uses more energy than the proof of stake competitors. However, usually the proof of work uh, blockchains are more secure 
and more decentralized and also usually less likely to have scrutiny from SEC regulation. So take from that as you want. Uh, it is to me, it's, it's diversification. So some argue proof of work is better. Some argue proof of stake is better. I have both. I'm invested in both. But that is just something to think about with Flux. So Flux also did state that they're going to incentivize the developers and the apps on the Flux network to use the Flux token to increase demand for the token, to increase the price. They're going to offer discounts in their services. They're not going to require businesses or apps to use the Flux token because that would decrease their uh, number of total users. However, they did state in their white paper they are going to incentivize. So I see that as bullish news to increase demand for the token and the Flux token is what operates the Flux network. So it says here they're creating 10 parallel assets on other blockchains. So they're interoperable and interchangeable. Uh, right now they have four. There's the Cadena, Ethereum, Binance, and Solana which uh, I'm bullish on all four of those. They're all great ecosystems. So this is really interesting to see. And it says they're going to be announcing Avalanche and Luna soon, which I'm also bullish on those. So this is, uh, I'd say this is bullish news. So yeah, overall, my summary is going to be this space is absolutely massive. The data storage space, uh, cloud storage in decentralized Web3 is massive and is a huge marketplace. And Flux seems to be a really strong competitor and it has a strong uh, ecosystem and following, and it seems like they're doing new things and they're innovating. So overall, I'm bullish on Flux. Will it go down more? Possibly. Will it rally? Possibly. You know, in the short term, I don't know. I don't try to predict the short term. I just try to look at the long-term trends and the long-term growth and the um, adoption of these projects and then buy, it, buy the dips and buy it low points. So that's my basic overall strategy. I'm hodling when we hit a certain point, I'll probably take a percentage of profits just to lock those in because you never know with these things. But uh, I'm, I'm a long-term hodler in most of the projects I've invested in. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep aping, keep hodling. Woo!